fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hi-Yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. the early settlers in the western United States became discouraged by the hardships they faced, the lawlessness in the new territory, was the mass crowd of the plains who brought back their confidence in the future. He fought crime through the length and breadth of seven states and blazed the trail for progress. It was he, more than any other man, who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on! Silver! We're heading for the range country! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! Old Sam Catlett stood helplessly by while his brother in law sat at Sam's desk and began going through his papers. Hattie, Sam's wife, gazed upon her brother with approval. I just know you'll find Sam's got everything in a terrible mess, Homer. Uh huh. I guess it's lucky I came to visit. Doggone it, Homer, you look here. I'm glad you come. You're welcome to stay with us just as long as you please. But don't you go tell me how to run my ranch. Thirty years I have done it, but I'm I'm not going to... I'm ashamed of you. Apologize to Homer this minute. Oh, Hattie! Didn't you hear me? Apologize this very minute. Uh, uh, Homer, I didn't just mean (laughs) that I didn't... Oh, that's all right, Sam. We'll get along together all right just as soon as we're used to each other. Now, let me see... According to this here receipt, Sam, you sold some two-year-olds last month for just under five dollars a head. <laughs> uh-huh. Sold them to some drovers. They only wanted to pay four, but I made them meet my price. You should have got six. Huh? You lost almost a thousand dollars in that deal right there. Now, here I see where hey, you... Hey, now, hold on a second. How was I to hold out for six when two-year-olds ain't getting a price like that anywhere in Texas? I could have got it for you. Like blazes, you could. You'd have spoiled the whole sale. Sam, don't act like a baby just because you ain't the businessman Homer is. But, Hattie, Haven't don't you I see... told you you ain't been running this ranch the way you should? Blast it all. What's the matter with the way I've been running it? I'd say almost everything. Yeah? Well, I've made the place pay, ain't I? What'd you do with your place? Huh. Lost everything you own. Well, that's beside the point. Poor Homer just had bad luck. All right, maybe he did. But why in Tunker should his having bad luck make him know more about how to run my ranch than I do? Well... That's the way you feel, Sam. Now, now, Homer, don't let Sam get you mad. He'll be grateful afterwards. Well, I... Just sit down again and go through the rest of the papers. Right, please, Homer. Very well. As long as you ask me, Hattie. Thank you. There, Sam, you see what you nearly did? You nearly kept Homer from helping oh. you. Oh! And have him being kind enough to come all the way here to visit us. It ain't costing nothing, is it? And after losing his place, where else could he come but here? That's enough. But, Hattie, I've stood for just about all I'm going to from you. Oh, and if you don't... well, of all things. Huh? Homer, what is it? Sam, did you pay out good cash for this junk? Did I pay out? Hey, careful of that. That's my land script. The land script. It ain't worth the paper's printed on. Sam, I've never seen these before. You've been hiding things from me. Homer, what are they? Land certificates. The state government issues them. For each one you hold, you're entitled to claim a section of state-owned land. 
There's 640 acres in each section. Sam, how much was you loco enough to pay for these things? I got most of them for three cents on the acre, and I ain't loco. Uh, I'm not sure I understand, Homer. Now, how can this Well, it's this way, Hattie. Over half of Texas still ain't settled. When it joined the Union, it kept title all that vacant land. So they printed these certificates to hand out to fellas crazy enough to take them in place of cash. If Sam paid three cents an acre for him, he got cheated. Can't you get the land with it? Oh, it's easy enough to claim the land. All you got to do is have it surveyed and recorded. That ain't the point. Three cents an acre is just three cents more than it's worth. That's where you're crazy. Ask anybody, Hattie. Or, uh, ask Sam why he hid this script instead of showing it to you. Sam, what have you got to say? Why do I have to say anything? I bought that script because I figured it was worth it. Then why didn't you tell me about it? Well, I, uh, I, well, I... <laughs> Hattie, he knew if it ever got out, he'd be the laughing stock of the county. Yes. You mean nobody else would buy this printing? Not one fellow in a thousand. How many of them certificates you find there? I well, we ain't counting them, but I'll bet there's three or four hundred. How much would that come to? Land or cash? Cash. Well, I'd have to figure it first to tell you exactly. But anyhow, this must have cost Sam six or seven thousand dollars. <laughs> Six or seven thousand dollars. Now, Harry, so that's I... how you've been throwing our money away. I tell you, I ain't throwed it away. I got that land cheap. Someday it's gonna be worth plenty. That there land scrip is gonna make us rich. That settles it. Huh? It's a wonder to me we've got a roof over our heads. Homer, I'd never get through thanking Providence that you came when you did. I just hope you won't take offense at anything Sam says, and and will stay on to help us in our need. Well, things are pretty bad, Hattie, but. I'll do the best I can. Ain't I got nothing to say about this? No. But why? If we had I? less to say in the past, we'd be better off today. Better off? We got cash enough in the bank to last till we die. We got the finest ranch in the district. And you talk about being better off. He did that well without knowing anything about business, and Homer could do twice as good. But doggone it all, Hattie. We're all through you... talking about it. When you're disturbing Homer, you better leave. You bet I will. And you can both think I was loco for buying that script if you're a mind to. But you mark my words. The day will come when folks will buy Texas land at ten cents an acre and be glad to get it. <laughs> Poor Sam, ten cents an acre. Where's he get such notions? Uh, Homer, these certificates. Think you could sell them and get that cash back? Uh, not from anybody in his right mind, Hattie. But I'll try. <laughs> things I've heard tell of. Coming in my house, running high hey, hands like that, boss. taking my stuff and running all boss, through the Boss, boss, you look mad enough to chaw nails. What's the matter? Pete, let me tell you something. Yeah? If you ever get hitched, you pick out a female that ain't got a family. <laughs> yeah, I savvy. Had a run-in with Homer, huh? He's inside there going through my papers. Figures to run my ranch. Your wife say he was? Just so. Why don't you stand up to her? Huh? Stand up to Hattie? Gosh, I wouldn't dare. A week later, Homer was standing at the bar of the cafe in Wellington. A well-dressed stranger elbowed his way in beside him. One side, Injun. Uh, thanks. Howdy, mister. Howdy. Ain't you Homer Larkin? Uh-huh, that's me. My handle's Ike Slater. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, thanks, but I reckon I've had enough. Well, I ain't anxious for any either. Uh, they tell me you've got some land script you'd like to sell. I've got some belongs to my brother-in-law, if that's what you mean. Why? You want to buy it? Do I look that simple? Then why'd you mention it? When I seen you here, I thought I might be able to do you a favor. Huh? A favor? Uh, what you... How about stepping down to that end of the bar? There ain't so many around. Well, sure. Why not? Now, what's this about doing me a favor? Well, what I meant was maybe I could do us both a favor. Yeah? You ain't had much luck finding buyers for that script, have you? I can't find anybody loco enough to buy. So I heard. And that being the case, I guess if a fella come along that could tell you where you could sell that script, it'd be worth something to you, hmm? Uh, just what do you mean? I'll tell you. For part of what you get... I'll put you on to the fellow that's buying all he can lay hands on. Yeah? Who? Well, that's uh, what you find out if we make a deal. How much will he pay? How much you got? Script for 400 sections. 400, eh? Hmm. Well, Larkins, you know and I know that script ain't worth a red cent. But I'll just about guarantee this fellow would pay a couple thousand for what you got. Promise to give me 500 of that after you've made the sale 
And I'll lead you to him. Yeah, 500 out of 2,000, huh? Well, that'd only leave 1,500. Which is that much more than you're likely to get anyplace else, ain't it? Well, I... I don't get the idea I'm trying to persuade you to anything you'd rather not. Nothing like that at all. The only reason I spoke my piece was because I figured you'd be smart enough to grab your chance when you've seen it. Uh, do I have to decide right now? Well, can't you? Well, I'd rather talk it over with my sister first if you could wait. She wants to sell, don't she? Uh, oh, sure, yeah. Well, how soon could you let me know? Uh, this same time tomorrow? Well, all right tomorrow then. But this ain't my home range. After that, maybe I won't be around. Oh, Slater, wait till I talk to Hattie and I can almost <laughs> promise it'll be a deal. Homer returned to the ranch, reported to Hattie, and then brother and sister demanded that Sam accept the offer. Hattie, you and Homer can't do this to me. I paid for that script and that's mine. I won't sell for 2000 I won't sell for 4000 I won't sell for twice that much. Sam, hush up. You say you'll have to give this man Slater 500 and he won't tell you who wants to buy it. Oh, that's it, Hattie. Is it worth it? <laughs> well, I didn't let on to Slater. But if he hadn't mentioned less and it had been up to me, I'd have offered twice as much just to get rid of the stuff. Yeah, you don't have to pay him anything before you make the sale, do you? Not a penny. Well, it's a shame that we can't get more than 1500 for what cost over 7000 But that's Sam's fault, not on. You ought to be grateful to get anything back at all. Doggone, didn't you hear me when I said I wouldn't sell? What you say don't count. Homer, tell Slater we'll do business with him. Right. And, uh, who's there? Come in. Well, howdy, ma'am. Afternoon, Mr. Larkin. Hey, boss, could you come here a second? Huh? Step outside here. What for? Fella wants to see you. He sent me after you. Come along. Who is he? <laughs> I couldn't tell you for sure, boss, but I got a doggone good idea. Where in Tunk are you taking me to? Just the other side of the cookhouse there. But why are you I'm taking me boss. out? You mind if I tell you something before you meet this fella? Tell me what? Well, like I said, I got a good notion who he is. If I'm right, he can be trusted. Maybe he's here to do you a good turn. So don't let his mask set you against him. What's that? This fella's mask? Sure. But what in the world you got? He's right around the corner here. Pete, if you're up to something you shouldn't be, I'm not... not... Sam. Buy Sunday our mask. Forget my mask. But what are you doing here? Listen to what I tell you. Don't sell your land script to Ike Slater. You had Pete fetch me out here to tell me that. In part. Then you had him get the wrong party. Stranger, you're looking at a fellow that owns a ranch, but ain't allowed the right to run it. Your man here said something about that. Nevertheless, that script can't be sold without your permission. Small comfort that is. That's not my entire reason for talking to you. No? A friend of mine was in the cafe when Slater spoke to your brother-in-law. He recognized him, knew him to be a well-known confidence man, and followed him afterwards. Well, what about it? When Slater left the cafe, he joined a fellow he's worked with before, a fellow as crooked as he is. Yeah? This man is calling himself Owens. His real name is Link Mead. From what Tonto overheard, Mead and Owens are buying this script together. And I think I know why they want it. Yeah? It's been rumored that Coke will be elected governor. If that's true, it means the end of the Reconstruction government in the state. If that's true, Texas will see the greatest boom in its history. It won't be long until land is worth ten and twenty times what it is today. You sure of that? No one can be sure until the vote is announced. But I think it's almost certain. But you are sure Slater's a crook, huh? He is. Though I can't tell you whether or not he's wanted by the law. Oh, I knew there was a hitch in it. Oh? How am I going to tell Hattie I won't let that trip be sold because a masked fella told me Slater was crooked? Well, that's up to you. At least you know the facts. Here's over. Doggone, I I reckon there never was a critter as spineless as me. I've heard about you, Sam. People say you let everyone run over you. It's about time you asserted yourself. To Hattie? Stranger, it's plain to see you never met my wife. Well, I've told you all I can. The rest is up to you. Adios. 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 Pete, I forgot to ask. Who do you figure that hombre is? <laughs> yeah, I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you. No, but I'd bet my bottom dollar that's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. Leaving old Sam Catlett, the Lone Ranger returned to the well-hidden camp he shared with his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. Tonto, saddle, Scout. Here, Scout. You see, fella. I did, Kimasabi. And I'm not certain it'll do any good. Mm, that bad. He's given in to his wife too many years. I'm afraid it'll be too late for him to change. Uh, so if he can't protect himself, it's up to us to do it for him. And what we do? Slater and me are usually clever enough to sidestep the law. But you can't go crooked without making a mistake sometime, somewhere. Not right. And I doubt that Slater and me are exceptions. Perhaps they've outrun their mistakes, but I'll wager they exist. Uh, steady, fella. Steady. That's why, Tonto, you and I are going to do a little back-trailing. And what you mean? We know Slater and Meade were in the panhandle for several months before they came here. Uh-huh. We'll see what they were up to there. If we find nothing, we'll trace them back to the place before that. That good idea. Somewhere along the line, they must have got on the wrong side of the law. Uh-huh. And if they have, we'll teach them you can outrun mistakes for a while, but not for always. Ready, Tonto? Uh, now me ready. Then come. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver, come on! <laughs> The following day, Homer and Hattie had just made Sam's land certificates into a neat package when Sam himself entered the room. Hey, what do you got there? What do you suppose? You got my land scrip in this here package? I have. What do you think you're going to do with it? Sell it, of course. Go on, Homer. If you said you'd meet that man, he won't want to be kept waiting. Show him how much we got, find out who wants to buy it, then bring them both back out here. Very well, sister. I'll hey, go. not so fast. What? You come back here. Sam, don't be interfering. Homer's got an appointment he's got to keep. To sell what's mine. You don't have to tell me. Well, he ain't gonna do it, Sam. If you'll just listen I ain't to in the mood for listening. Put them certificates back. Sam, don't behave like a fool. I ain't. We're just trying to save some of the cash you threw away, Sam. That's all. You're trying to give my script away to a couple of crooks for almost nothing. Crooks. Sam, what in thunder are you talking about? Guess this. Slater's a crook. And the fella he's gonna have you meet is a crook. And the two of them want that script because they know before long it's gonna be worth plenty. But they ain't gonna get it. Ridiculous. Would you be willing to say that to Mr. Slater to his face? Sure, why not? Then you got proof of it. Sure, I got proof. Well, well, no, not exactly. Hmm. This is a thought. Sam, you're just making yourself small. If you can't get your own stubborn way without slandering a man that ain't harmed you, you ought to keep shut. Just because I can't show proof don't mean it ain't so. Oh, go on. I will, sister. No, you don't. If you meet Slater and tell him you got authority to sell them certificates, you'll be wasting your time. But, Sam, I... I... ain't give you no such authority, and I ain't gonna. And you still can't make no sale without I put my name to it. So what are you gonna do about that? Sam. Well? If... If you just dare to meddle now, I... I'll never speak to you again as long as I live. Then don't. <gasps> I ain't so sure that wouldn't be a good thing. Sam, come here. You come back here right now. If you want me, you know where to find me. I ain't like Homer with relatives to live off of. I got work to do. Did you go through with it, boss? Did you? Pete, I did. Hooray! I don't know how I got the nerve, but I sure told him. And all gone, you hold to it. I don't know, Pete. You have to. Well, I'll try. But if something don't happen soon to prove I was right, I'm afraid I'm a goner. This didn't settle nothing. They'll just keep on pestering me. Then tell them to go to blazes. Show yeah. them who's boss. Oh. Taint me, and I don't know how long I can keep him from finding it out. Mead, it's Ike Slater. You there? Get in here. I thought I told you to stay away from the hotel. You're supposed to be putting Larkins on to a fellow that don't know any better than to buy land strip. If it gets out that we're friendly, he'll begin suspicious. But I had to see you. It's him I come about. He's ready to sell? He can't. Huh? But I thought you said... Sure, I said Larkins was brother to Catlett's wife. And she gives the old man his orders. But something's gone wrong. What has? The old fellow's got stubborn. And the deals fell through? I don't know. Larkins says not. What do you mean? Well, something's made old Catlett stop the sale. But Larkins says it can't last. He and his sister will keep after him. He says if we'll wait one of these days, Cat will have to give in. How'd he sound? Like he meant it? Seemed to. Uh, I thought we couldn't do ourselves any good. I'd clear out. I think we'd be foolish to. Yeah? Everybody in the county knows how old Catlett's wife bosses him. <laughs> I'd lay odds she'll get her own way yet. Maybe. 
There ain't no place else we'll get scripts so cheap. I know. Them syndicates in the north are grabbing it up as fast and as quiet as they can. If this fella Coke gets elected to governor, maybe even the Texans will wake up to what they've been missing. Then we won't be able to buy scrip at any price. Well, I suppose we'd better stay. There ain't nothing else to do. But Slater. Yeah? You keep in touch with Larkins. Keep pressing him. Let him think the bar you spoke of is losing interest. Convince him he'd better see to it that sale is made quick or the chance he'll be gone for good. <laughs> you leave it to me. Convince him and he'll convince his sister. And if she don't make life miserable for that old coochie married, then... Then all we've heard about her must have been lies. <laughs> Mead, I've seen her. Old cat little wish he'd never been born. The prophecy made by Slater and Mead came true. Day after day, week after week, Hattie condemned the error of her husband's ways. Can't you leave me be, Hattie? I don't want to sell. You were Just leave me be. That's all I ask. Just leave me be. Sell. I won't. You will. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Three weeks. For three weeks, I ain't had one minute of peace. I can't stand then it. Then don't be a fool. Sell. 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 All right, all right, I will. Have it your own way. I've listened for as long as I'm going to. If I heard just one more word, I'd go crazy. About time you came to your senses. Just leave me alone, won't you? If Mr. Slater brings that man here, you'll sell. Ain't that what I said? I just wanted to make sure. Did you hear him, Homer? I did, Hattie. Then get to town, find Mr. Slater. Tell him to get that buyer and bring him here. Sure. Sam, I know how you're feeling. But wait. One of these days you'll be thanking us on your bended knees. Will I? Well, I doubt it. Nobody's convinced me I wasn't right. I only give in because if I hadn't, I'd have gone loco. <laughs> Been that for some time. Oh! Don't just stand there, Homer. Saddle up and get to town. Slater. Oh, howdy, Larkins. What's up? He'll sell. He said he'd sell. He will. Uh huh. Now, where's the fellow who wants to buy? I'm to take you and him out to the house. And if he pays 2000 I'm still to get my 500 Of course. You wait right here. I'll have him here in a jiffy. Mead, grab your coat and hat. We've put it over. Yeah. The capital will sell. And Larkins is waiting at the cafe to take us out to his place. <laughs> I think this happened just about in time. Don't I know it. I talked to a fellow this morning just came from the capital. The legislature's counting the vote and coke's way in the lead. Once the word gets around, things will help. And come on, if all Larkins hears it. Homer Larkins escorted Slater and Meade to Sam Catlett's ranch house, where they received a warm welcome from Hattie, but none at all from Sam. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. Won't you men sit down? Sam, stand up. Let Homer have your chair. Oh! There's no need for anybody to get up. This won't take us long. You, uh, you've got the certificates already, ain't you? They're right here. Uh-huh. Well, that's fine. You said you'd pay 2000 for them, didn't you, Mr., uh... Owens? I will. You've got the cash with you? I'll turn it over just as soon as I've looked at the script. Go ahead, Mr. Owens. Don't bother. What the? What? Mask, Slater. Look who's with him. Davis, Williams, go ahead in. You too, Sheriff. Hey, let me out of here. I'll run for it. Follow those fellas. Try to follow Rush. Oh! Get his gun. I got it. Stand away, you meet or you'll get the same. Don't you, don't. Come here. You don't need them guns. I, I gave up. Did you call this fellow Meade? He told us his name was Owens. Then he lied to you, ma'am. He's Link Meade. The masked fella told me all about him. Yeah, and about his partner here, too. They're both of them crooks, and I'm here and now putting them under arrest. You can't arrest us. We're not crooks. We... Davis and Williams will swear otherwise, Meade. I brought them here from the panhandle. Do you recognize them, or have you forgotten already? I... I never seen either one of them before. I did. That's a blasted lie. You're the two fellas that got me drinking. And then tricked me into signing my name to a check for $5,000. And you sold me a gold mine you never had title to. I, I, I banked on the fact you'd gone too far at some time or other. And you had. You'll pay for it now. No, no, wait. I... Shut up. Listen, you, you can't... too. 
Save your talking for your trial. They ought to be hung for what they did to me. They will hang if I got anything to say about it. Now, I've got news for you, too, Sam. Yeah? Coke was elected. The Reconstruction government is out. Texas is free. And if I'm any judge, the boom is on its way. Yippee! You hear that, Homer? You hear it, Harry? Now, how much of an idiot to think I was? <laughs> I was right all the time. But I thought, well, I was sure What that... you thought was that you'd find yourself a soft snap running my ranch and living at my expense. Well, you run your own into the ground. But listen, you ain't. Oh, wait, Sam. For what? I've just been hoping I'd be proved right so as I could do what I've been hankering to do ever since you got here. Huh? Order you out. Now get. Pack your duds and get off my place before you feel the toe of my boot. That's telling him, boss. And if you don't want to go willing, I'll toss him out for you. You've insulted me. I wouldn't stay here anyhow. Goodbye. <laughs> And don't never come back. Sam. All right, what you got to say? You can't order Homer out of my house without... Your that. house? Woman, it's about time you learned this is my house and my ranch and that I'm boss of both. You took your turn at bossing and come close to losing me a fortune by I... it. Keep still. But I... I said keep still. Oh. Yes, Sam. And don't never question my judgment again. Uh, no, Sam. And get out in the kitchen and fix me something special good to eat. I ain't had nothing but leftovers since your fool brother come here, and I'm tired of it. Uh, uh, Sam, Go I... on! Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure a fire eater, Sam, when you get started. Well, ain't he, though? Huh? <laughs> well, if you'd had the chance to prove somebody wasn't so smart, after you'd been told for years how dumb you was beside him, well, you let off a little steam, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon I would. <laughs> I'm the boss again. Thanks to the mask man. I'm the boss, and I know I'm the boss. <laughs> and it sure feels good. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>